what's really important to me is that uh, you know the community has civic pride that we are proud of where we live we are proud of our city uh, it's really important that we be able to portray uh, who we are as a citizen who we are as a Suryite um, it's really important that we establish ourselves as different so I'm really particularly proud of Newton Athletic Park. I think that uh, when I was first elected in the city of Surrey, um, I'd come to this park and uh, this park was in rather poor shape. There was very few, if any, investments being made at this park. You know, as we drive into this park, you can tell that the uh, tennis courts have been recently upgraded. The uh, fields to the north uh, had significant drainage works completed in the last uh, several years that now permit uh, a multitude of sports. You know, we're at uh, Newton Athletic Park. This is uh, one of those gems in the rough. Uh, we've done a lot of work in this location over the last 10 years. Uh, we've revitalized this area. We've put four new turf fields over the last decade. Uh, we've made significant investments on in the drainage area. We understood that you know youth with siblings needed space to play in. We added a water park, we added a, a walk track, so there's been significant investments made at this location and we understand the importance and the civic pride now at this location is second to none and we're really, really, really uh, proud of what we've been able to accomplish at this location. So uh, this is 104th Avenue, this is uh, when we hit 152 that's going to be the start of where LRT is going to end in Guilford. Uh, that's where Guilford Mall is on 104th. Uh, this is a big commitment by TransLink in terms of uh, rapid transit in our city. Uh, this is going to be the start of something big in our city. We've got a current, uh, the current uh, line is going to be 10 and a half kilometers. It's considered the L line. It's called the Surrey Newton Guilford line, the SNG line. And uh, we're very optimistic that this 10 and a half kilometer line will eventually turn into a, a full. 150 kilometers of uh, rapid transit throughout our city. The uh, LRT is going to permit us to be able to put a technology that is utilized throughout the world very successfully. Um, we're looking for a opportunity to integrate um, rapid transit within our city. You know, LRT really is a technology that's being introduced to Surrey to build Surrey. Uh, SkyTrain, on the other hand, is to get people to Vancouver. We are trying to keep our employment opportunities in Surrey. We're trying to ensure that people live, work, and play in our city. And the opportunity to be able to capitalize on those LRT options is something significantly different than that what uh, SkyTrain offers. Uh, these were some of the problem areas that uh, we've had over the last several years. Uh, this is the infamous 135A Street. And I think that uh, you know our staff, uh, including engineering, our RCMP, our bylaws, uh, including provincial government, Fraser Health, uh, they did an astonishing job in terms of being able to clean up this uh, premises. This 135A Street uh, has been what I consider a, a black eye for Surrey over the last number of years, and I'm very thankful that uh, the current government uh, felt that this was a priority and they were working very diligently with the city to look at uh, interim solutions uh, and looking at permanent solutions. We've got three arenas that are currently being constructed here in Bridgeview. Um, really personally proud of what we've been able to accomplish here. Uh, we're revitalizing the area. Uh, these lands are very strategic in terms of where we're putting these uh, ice arenas. It's going to revitalize the area and it's going to add significant value to this community. So very optimistic that these investments are going to be uh, significant opportunities for our community, our youth and our citizens for the foreseeable future. You know, safety is a huge issue in this uh, community. I think that there's a, a number of aspects uh, that uh, go along with safety, uh, whether it's a combination of policing and it's a combination of being proactive. It's uh, really looking at what that social fabric looks like. This is our downtown core. This is something new. This is what we've been able to create over the last decade. This is the future, folks. We've got a new plaza for people to enjoy. We've got a hotel for people to come to. We've got a brand new library that is second to none. And look at our city hall, the catalyst for change in this great city. Uh, we have 102 languages spoken here. We want to make sure that everybody's comfortable. We want to make sure that uh, everybody gets a fair role. And if we want to make sure everybody gets a fair um, 
deal in this community and that we want to make sure that those opportunities are not limited to any one group uh, and uh, it's game on really it's just game on let's let's do it